All right, guys, welcome. We're going to look at this lovely Canon Mask Laser Command that I've got for sale. But first, I'll announce that I'm going to be debluing the glove. This is the first YouTube clip with the glove to make sure I preserve these beautiful vintage toys. Here we go. First, all right, let's get rid of the elephant in the room, all right? This Laser Command box is a mongrel. It's real bad condition. Um, it's caved in, it's, it's got a um, big rip here. It's missing one of the smaller flaps there. It's got a huge crease down the guts here, which puts it out of shape pretty badly. Um, it's, a, it's not a good box, all right? It's, it's, uh, it presents semi-decently if you've got it in the back. You straighten it out a bit, it looks okay, but um, it's crap. All right, so that was just the one to get out of the right, out of the way. Yeah, it's a rare box, but no, this is not in good condition. Like it's really, so the box is, you know, a better, but look, it's better than no box. It displays all right. You know, you stick it in the background, you got rat fang and you got horn at the front. Doesn't look too bad, but you know, it's not in good condition. So I'm not going to stress that more than that. It's a bad box. I'll put that to the side. I won't talk about that box anymore. Let's look at the vehicles themselves. So I don't have Miles, man. Unfortunately, we've only got Matt Tracker, Matt's mask, and Miles's mask. So unfortunately, this infrared battle is going to be without Miles. So, um, but Matt Tracker's nice. He's in nice condition. Both masks are a nice condition. You might have a tiny little bit of a paint rub at the bottom of. Matt Trucker's mask, it's a little bit of orange coming through in the blue. And Miles's mask is nice. So yeah, shame I don't have that figure, but um, uh, look, I wasn't gonna go out and buy one just to complete it, maybe I should have, but I'll leave that to you. It gives you a bit of fun once you um, once it's into your collection. So we'll have a look at Hornet first, all right? So it's got a bit of a lifting sticker. They're really nice condition. They've just got a couple of lifting stickers. Um, I'm gonna save electrics to last just to keep you um, in suspense because that's probably what you wanna see. Um, give you a tip that that is working, the electrics. Just going to put you in a real close thing. We'll uh, open up Hornet with two hands. So Hornet's looking good, man. That's a nice sticker there. And his rudders. So he's it's just got a lifting sticker here on the side console. You can just see it. And a lifting corner on that sticker there too. Otherwise, uh, Hornet's really nice. And I guess I can give you a preview of, of his electrics. That's half the battle. But yeah, no, he works perfectly. Gives you wicked flashbacks. I actually did have this as a child in May. It was so cool. And what a beautiful noise for my mum and dad to have put up with when I was young. Here we go. So, um... The rat's doing himself, right, Fang. So he's really nice. He's got some light stick away. You can see there, it's not a mint sticker. The little tiny edges peeling. You got some peeling edges on stickers, but it's not too bad. It's got pretty good chrome. It's missing the front um, light sticker there. And then that sticker's got like a little bit of, I'll go close. It's like a bit of sort of stainage on it and both edges are lifting. Uh, it's got a nice chrome on the hubcaps. Little bit of chrome loss back left. Uh, the battery terminals are good. Oh, I'll, I'll get to that. It's hard to do with a slippery glove. Um, so yeah, he's looking good. I'll flick him over. It's got a little bit of sort of surface scratching underneath. Those couple of screws look like they've got a little bit of rust, rust slash corrosion, whatever you want to call it. Let's turn him on and maybe if you turn him over, I wonder if his light's working. Hello. So yeah, his light's working. And um all right, let's do it. This is the money shot. So sometimes the engine doesn't prime immediately. Let's just gotta have a look because these things launch. I don't want them to scratch anything when they launch. So here we go. Hornet's coming in. And what do we got? 
All righty, fully functional. So, uh, yeah, like I said, massive flashbacks for me. I had this kid. I blew this guy up a million times. So cool. Um, steering was intact. That stick is nice. The Venom stick is nice. Windscreen's got like, a little bit of sort of surface rubbing. The two side things, side gun things are um, quite good chrome. Underside of the hood uh, stick is nice. And you've already seen that. That's got a little bit of a stick lift there. So, um, yeah, you've got a fully functional laser command. Working electric. Blows up nicely. You got Matt Tracker. Both masks. As I said earlier, Miles is not here. So, this battle for this demolition battle is going to be without Miles Mayhem. It's sad. But look, you can pick him up on eBay. He's, I don't know, maybe 80 bucks without a mask. Can find him, they do, they do pop up, it's not impossible to find. So, look, I reckon this is probably uh, I'd give it maybe a C8 sort of C8, eight and a half, maybe just stick lift, lifting stickers outside of the lifting stickers. Uh, Hornet's pretty much spot on, no issues at all. And Rat Fang got a few lifting stickers, one missing sticker, and just some light chrome, chrome loss. I think it was mostly on the back. Back bumper has got a little bit of uh, chrome loss, if you can see it there, in a couple of little flaky spots. Um, let me, oh, look, you can look really close at that thing for again a second. I'm just lifting up his back thing. I can't do it with the glove finger. Uh, it just doesn't grip the back thing, but uh, it's all good. The electrics are, the um, terminals are fine. So I'm going to pop the C battery out to show you the fact that, yeah. So there's no corrosion whatsoever. The terminal's really nice. Um, this is perfect than what the 9 volt goes into. This thing is definitely no corrosion. There's no fraying of the cable. Let's see if I can pop it out. The 9 volt connection cable is beautiful. Uh, same with, I'm not going to be able to get Hornet out one handed, but his connection cable is spot on inside there and in his terminals. I'll get a still photo of it when, in the listing. So, yeah, I reckon C8, 8.5. A um, little light, light sticker lifting, a little bit of chrome loss here and there on Rat Fang. Otherwise, yeah, nice laser command. You don't often see them uh, working like that. And again, you probably, just in case you're coming in late or something, mongrel box, real poor, really poor condition box. But hey, it looks okay in the background. So this guy, I'm going to pop him up in my group. Uh, I'll probably do him as a make an offer post. I know a handful of people after this dude. So uh, I've got a rough idea what I want for him. Uh, let's see if I can get to that number. Uh, it won't kill me if I keep this guy. So let's have a look. Hopefully, I can find a new home. Uh, nice laser command. You know, if you're not in my group, make your way to my group. I'm coming across a lot of nice toys. I get a fair bit. Oh, not a fair bit. A bit of mask. A lot of Star Wars Transformers, all vintage G1, that kind of stuff. So if you're not in my group, you know, make your way to my group. The link's after the video and before the video. Um, I'm not a YouTube perfectionist, as you can see, but I'm getting there. I basically just like to show all the nooks and crannies or something when I sell it. Uh, you know what you're getting. There's no surprises. Thanks, everyone. And, um, yeah, I look forward to more videos, more toys, more fun.